Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this microprocessor tutorial series. So I am following the microprocessor 8085. So in this video, we will learn about the instruction cycle. So first of all, let us understand what is an instruction. This instruction, what is the meaning? So an instruction is a command that is given to the microprocessor to perform some specified operation okay suppose we have a instruction move a comma b so here this is the instruction means it is the instruction or it is the some information that is given to the processor that will be executed by the processor and we will have the result so what is the instruction meaning here here move this one is the output that we have already learned in our previous videos here a b a comma b these are the operands operands means on which the operation has been performed so what is the meaning of operand so it is the data on which operation is being performed by the processor okay and the opcode is the operation code so what will be the opcode for the move instruction it is 78h okay so here for the move instruction the opcode for the 8085 microprocessor is 78 78 is in hex code okay so this is the given instruction or this is suppose one byte instruction this is just for example what is an instruction i am giving you this example instruction may be of one byte two byte or sometimes three byte also we have already learned in our previous video that is the instruction word size so what are the instruction word sizes i have explained you in detail in the previous videos here the instruction cycle let us suppose represent with ic ic means it is the instruction cycle so instruction cycle is the summation of fetch cycle plus execution cycle so fc means here this fc means the fetch cycle and this ec ec means this is the execution cycle so this is the instruction cycle so what will be the instruction cycle or what will be the time so instruction cycle will be the total time that is required by the microprocessor to execute an instruction okay and what will be the total time so there will be some fetching time fc and there will be some execution time so now we have to understand what is a fetch cycle and then we will understand the execution cycle in the case of fetch cycle so during this fetch cycle the cpu or the microprocessor fetches the opcode or the machine code of an instruction from the memory okay the time required to fetch the opcode is fixed time slot okay so during this given instruction this one was the one byte instruction okay this instruction size is one byte but the microprocessor has to fetch or it has to collect the instruction from the memory whatever whenever we have saved the program from that this instruction is suppose one part of the program one line of the program then these instructions will be fetched by the microprocessor okay so in this fetching process we will have to collect the opcode from the memory so this is the fetch cycle and what about the execution cycle ec ec is the execution cycle so this is the execution cycle and so during this execution cycle actually it consists of two steps one is the read data and execute data okay so here we will have two part this is the function of the execution cycle so in an instruction the first byte is the opcode and the other bytes are the operand so we have already seen in our previous videos that suppose we have an instruction let me use another color suppose m b i b comma zero five so this is one instruction okay this is a two byte instruction so here m b i this is the opcode and these are the this is one register b and this is the zero five means it is the immediate addressing mode therefore we have here zero five is the data this is the in hex code this is zero five h this is the hex code representation of the data okay therefore this instruction will move this data to the register b 
so this is the meaning of this instruction so what we have to do now that at the beginning of the fetch cycle the program counter content is the memory location where the opcode is available i hope you understand about the program counter so program counter points to the address from where the next instruction can be fetched and executed so this is the function of the program counter so in the beginning of a fetch cycle the program counter content is the memory location where the opcode is available and then it is sent to the memory the memory places this memory will place the opcode in the database of the microprocessor so as to transfer to the cpu or the microprocessor unit that means the memory address whatever be the memory address suppose we have a stack of memory address suppose data is available at this second position suppose it has a memory address of suppose 10f okay this is a 16 bit address i am just taking some arbitrary point okay suppose 10 fe this is the 16 bit address so what will be the output for this mpi mpi suppose here we'll have 06 because we have fetched the opcode from here and this 06 is the opcode for the mbi so here mbi is the name of the instruction it is the name of the opcode but the computer does not understand what is mbi computer will understand this opcode 068 okay or 06 in hex code so in this way this processor during the fetch cycle the program counter content is the memory location so program counter will contain the this memory location so let me show you here this is the memory location where the program counter will point out and in the memory whatever be the content available this content will be given to the register okay so here will be the microprocessor and this is suppose register so this data will be collected to the database of the microprocessor so in this way the memory places the opcode in the database of the microprocessor so as to transfer to the cpu okay the entire operation cycles will depend on the type of the instruction now there is a special case suppose in the case of slow memory that is the memory speed is slower than the processor bus speed then what we have to do the processor has to take or processor has to wait for some more time okay in case of slow memory the cpu has to wait for the memory to send the opcode which is called as the wait cycle sometimes the memory is slower than the processor bus speed okay therefore sometimes it is not easy or it is not possible to collect the data from the memory during one clock cycle then we have to wait for some time so that the memory content is transferred to the register of the processor so this waiting time is called as the wait cycle so let me write down here this is one important concept wait cycle so what is the wait cycle it is related to the slow memory that is the memory speed is slower than the processor bus speed therefore in this case the processor has to wait for some time so that the opcode is fetched from the memory now let us come to our execution time okay so what is the execution time in the case of execution time there are various steps first of all it will fetch the or collect the data then what will be the next step it will be transferred to the data register okay this is dr is the data register and from the data register what will have then it will come to the instruction register and it is denoted by ir okay capital i small capital r then it will come to the decoder circuitry this decoder circuitry is inside inside the processor itself okay decoder circuitry this decoder circuitry is inbuilt within the processor and this decodes the opcode so let me write down here this decodes the opcode whatever be the opcode in the previous case we have already seen the opcode for the move instruction is this is 78h okay this is the opcode for the move instruction so after the decoding circuitry the processor will process the data or process the data available as the operands and as per the instruction it will output some result in the case of operand in the external register then the execution is immediately performed so we have considered that the data has been collected from the memory address but in some cases here in the first case we can see that we have already data in the register 
let me use another color we have used already register to store the data as the data is already available in the register the processor need not to perform the memory access or the memory read operation okay therefore we can say that in the case of operand in the external register the execution is immediately performed therefore the time taken for decoding and execution is equal to one clock cycle in this case so if the data is available in the register itself then the time for decoding and execution is the one clock cycle okay so when the data or the operand are still in the memory then the cpu performs read operations to get the data so we have understood about the fetch cycle and the execution cycle so instruction cycle consists of two parts one is the fetch cycle and another is the execution cycle okay now in the case of 8085 the machine cycle consists of three to six states so here we can write sometimes it may be three sometimes it may be four sometimes five and sometimes six also three to six this much of t states now i have written one new word okay so what is the meaning of the t state so this t states means that it is the state of the operation during one clock cycle suppose we have clock cycle like this okay suppose from here to here from here to here suppose this is the fetch cycle so what will happen now during this one clock period let me use another color suppose from here to here so this is called as the t state so during this one clock cycle whatever be the operation performed it may be sometimes fetching sometimes memory read sometimes memory right so there may be three to six t states of code fats machine cycle second one is the memory read machine cycle third one is the memory read machine cycle memory write machine cycle this memory read is sometimes written as m e m r and memory write is m e m w okay so the fourth type is the input output read machine cycle and the fifth one is the input output write machine cycle okay so these are the three to six t states in a machine cycle so this much for today thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you hey to video akbarwa gyan hinir para jodi anaro upokar hobo bhabe तेन बंधुबर्ग आत्मय स्वजन और चिनी मानुर शेयर करेक्सट भिडि किहर ऊपर चाह विचार कमेन्टत धन्यवाद